Is this coding game too easy? Well, completed 8 levels, both the optional challenges, but last time I realized I messed up level 2. <laughs> so maybe it's not as easy after all. But anyway, I would love to go for level 7. However, I really want to complete these two challenges here. So level 10 it is, I guess? Those are supposed to be kind of super hard. Oh yeah, now they explain to me what the green lights mean. I know, man, I know how this game works, because I played the sequel. <laughs> For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by 8. Oh, using a bunch of add commands is easy, but wasteful. Can you do it using only 3 add commands? Management is watching. I think that shouldn't be a problem. So with this 2 there, we take it out of the inbox, we copy it to this tile on the ground, then we add it to our 2 in our hands, so we have 4, then I'd say we copy that to there, so rewrite, so we have 4 in our hands, 4 on the ground, add it together once more, copy down once more, add it together again, and put it in the outbox. Now, 2 times 8 is 16, and here we have 4, 8, and 16. Marvelous! So, now I just need to put a jump there and repeat this for all these data cubes. So that's 32, yeah, that was 8 times what? 4 times 8 was it? I hope so. Yeah, it worked! Size challenge completed. Used only 9 commands and in 36 steps. Beautiful! That's what I like to see. Now level 12. This is gonna be a bit much. For each thing in the inbox multiplied by 40. Ah, shit. So, inbox, outbox. Nope. Piss off. Inbox. Now multiply it by 40. I don't really want to do that, but I suppose... Should we just do it the same way? Just copy to 0, yeah, then add it together. So 4 times 40 is what? Uh, 4 times 4 is 16 and add a 0, so 160, right? Let's just do this a few more times. Copy 2, yes, add, yes. Uh, how many times do I need? So this is actually times 2, this is times 4, times 8, no, yes, times 8, then it's gonna be times 16, then times 32, shit, and now I need times 8 again and add it together. So this was times 2, 4, 8. So once I have the result of this, I think I should copy this to here and just keep going here and then I add that times 8 to it. Is this gonna work? So 4 goes there, times 2 is 8, then 16, 32. Now put it here and there, keep multiplying and now add the 32 and that's 160 which is what i predicted 4 times 40 was so now all i have to do is jump this meaning repeat this code forever as long as you can that was 2 at the start right so 2 times 40 should be 80 so we've got 16 here because that's 8 times 2 add this together and that's 80 that's working beautifully so let's just keep going, and there's 0 there, that's a little wasteful, but 0 times 40 is still 0, and we've done it, that's the level completed. I can't tell you how happy I am, but also how pissed off I am that this doesn't work. Shit! I mean, used too many commands, right? Well, I suppose having this there is a little wasteful. I think what I could do is copy the, what was it, times 8, to 1, no need to copy to 0 as well, but then you add with the 1, but the result you put into 0 again, and then add it together like that. So this should be a tiny bit faster, and we've got 80, but I don't remember what the starting thing was. Might have been a 2. Seems to be working, and I think I shaved off a command, right? Right, marvelous! And is it faster? Yes, it is. That's beautiful. I love it. So that's all these optional challenges completed. And I think that we have some time to do Zero Exterminator. 
level 7. I expect to maybe unlock some if statements here. So we can say stuff like, like optimize this, you know. If there's a zero, you just put it there. No need to multiply it by freaking 40. But it's year 7, so technically shouldn't be. Oh, look, we've got a nice pattern here. Where do you see yourself in 5 years? Or 10 years? Well, hopefully not in this shithole. <laughs> <clears throat> Never mind, that's a stolen joke. So, oh yeah, yeah, extra evaluated performance, looking forward to it. Send all things that are not zero to the outbox. Oh, so we've got jump if zero, that's weird. You've got a new command, it jumps only if the value you're holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. That's a fun way to write an if statement, honestly. So, the way this should work is, we take it from the inbox, we put the data cubes into the outbox and we do this for every data cube. However, we don't want to put the zeros there. So I'd say if we take something from the inbox and it's a zero, we jump there. So no outbox, but try again. Take another data cube. Uh, no idea what this is for. Not like I need to put shit down, right? So three gets output it and zero gets tossed that's beautiful so let's speed this up and yeah should work there we go nicely done please both option challenges done oh yes four commands and it was fast as well yes it was nice i'm so happy i uh, i looked at the level two i wanted to say i was so happy that i just didn't even feel, you know, bad about anything. But then I saw level 2 again and I feel like shit once more. Hopefully next time I'm gonna go in blindfolded and not see that. This failure is gonna be pissing me off the whole time!